Oh my god, can you see? Look at my concealed carry today. Got the Glock 19 in there. Alright, so it's okay. Alright, here's my whole lowdown I'm about to tell y'all. Okay, go download freaking Cersei Sandstorm today. Like before the end of this video, go download it. Because if you're sick and tired of bullshit FPS shooters like Call of Duty series, Modern Warfare, freaking you know, modern welfare, freaking war zone, reskin Fortnite for these little kids. It's basically a, a Miss Pac-Man arcade uh, of FPS shooters. That's what that trash is. Hit detection is trash. Uh, Battlefield series has gone to shit, but the older Battlefield games are really good. Here's the deal. Okay, listen to this. Okay, freaking the game is badass. Okay, and Cersei Sandstorm is like. Like, the shit that the DEA is looking for, it's so fucking good. The pacing is as real as it gets as far as, like, actually having a two-way range, you know, issue with somebody, okay? Here's the deal. If you were in Fallujah back in the day, post 9-11, and all that bullshit, and was actually over there and did some fucking shooting, killing shit, and you play this game, it's gonna bring some hardcore flashbacks, because this shit is so fucking legitimately real, Okay? So, let me just take a couple of shots here. Okay, the, su the sound in the game, I was actually out today shooting my suppressed, you know, M&P here. This is subsonic 147 grain ammunition I'm using. This is an Octane 45. Uh, I really hate that damn dog. Okay, I digress. This be like an hour long video. I was out here shooting, I was shooting at the dirt. I was like, god dang, I downloaded that game. I was playing it, doing the reloads and shit, and I remember shooting in the game, in the in the, the gun range, and the brass hitting the side of the wall, going down between my legs, I was looking at it, and it rolled off the edge of a balcony and went down every step of the stairs. You don't get that kind of realism in a fucking game, okay? For, especially for a $39 game. Go look it up. It's Insurgency Sandstorm. You can add me on Steam. I play it a lot. Um... Uh, it's teammates on fire on Steam. You can also add Coke Man. He can put his comment and I'll pin it or whatever. But if y'all are like interested in the game, y'all need to go check it out. If y'all sick of the freaking new shooter games being like the Miss Pac Man of the fucking arcade generation for FPS games, fucking go download that game. Now, Escape from Tokyo is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. But god dang, freaking, I'm telling you what. In Cersei, Sandstorm. Go download it. Add us on. We're going to be playing it. And, and, I, I mean, fuck, it's just such a good game. Got a miss on it. I'll shoot this in the dirt so you can hear what the sound's like. That's literally nothing. It's like a pop gun. Go download the game, man. All right. Just go download it, man. Go download the game. What are you doing? Go download it. The voiceovers in that game... When you're communicating with somebody, it's so realistic sounding. When you're next to somebody and they're in the same hallway as you or confined space, you hear them like you're talking, like me and you're talking right now. And when you're a little bit of ways, you can hear them kind of like you're there, but also you're, it's like you're over the MCOM. And then when you're down range or wherever the fuck you are, it's like it's distorted like you're actually on the radio. And some of the conversations that's taking place on that game are absolutely freaking hilarious. If you don't want to play with a bunch of shitty little kids that's up past their bedtime, go get on a real game, a real shooter, go download the game, just go do it. Just look at some trailers, I'm telling you, go do it. We need more people on that fucking game, that's a badass fucking game. That's all I gotta say about that right there. Boop, 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 boop. See you bitches later. Uh, see you bitches later.